Hello everyone. So in this session, we'll be discussing related to scaling function in TIA portal. Okay, so there are basically two different types of blocks used for scaling in TIA portal. So before understanding these functions, let us understand the concept of 4 to 20 million pair and how this is scaled, how this uh, 4 to 20 million pair is scaled as per the physical parameter, right? So for example, we are taking a level transmitter in this case and we'll be seeing how this is converted to 4 to 20 million pair and then how this is given to the PLCs analog input okay so any transmitter will sense the physical quantity right so for example here the physical quantity is level okay so we are having a tank in which we are having some liquid and we want to measure the level of that liquid inside the tank so here we have used a radar level transmitter which is uh, fitted at the top of the uh, tank right so as per the changes in the liquid level the transmitter is producing 4 to 20 milliampere of current okay so basically uh, for different levels of tank it will be producing different level of current right so here if the level is zero it will be producing 4 milliampere of current and accordingly when the level is 100 percent so it will produce 20 milliampere of current now let us understand how this is happening okay so here if you observe we are having a level transmitter okay which is sending us some value so the physical quantity here is from 0 to 10 meters suppose the tank level is maximum is 10 meters right so for 0 meters of level in the liquid then we are having 4 milliampere of current when the level is 2.5 meter it is 8 milliampere that is 25 percent of the tank is filled now when the level is 12 milli uh, when the level is 5 meters that is 50 percent then we are having 12 mill milliampere of current and it is 50 percent of the level okay now when the level is 7.5 similarly we will be having 16 milliampere and for 100 percent of the tank level we will be having 20 milliampere of current okay so now let us understand that how this transmitter will convert the signal uh, whatever the whatever it is sensing into 4 to 20 milliampere of current right so here we are having some complex type of uh, equation right so suppose we are taking a level from not from zero we'll be taking some complex value okay we are considering that here if you observe we are having this graph okay so the input range of a value uh, of the level is from 15 to 85 inches okay so basically for 15 inches of the level inside the tank it will be producing 4 milliampere of current similarly for 85 that is 100 percent of the uh, level will be producing 20 million pairs of current right so accordingly we will be scaling this uh, uh, physical parameter into 4 to 20 million pairs of current so if you are able to observe in the previous case we have taken it from 0 meter to 10 meters here what we are doing is we are taking it from 15 inches to 85 inches okay so for minimum level is minimum level is 15 inches and the maximum level is 85 inches okay so for minimum level that is 15 it will be producing 4 milliampere of current and for maximum level it will be producing 20 milliampere of current okay so now our aim is to find out the current at some value for example if you want to find out the value of a current at some level 32 inches for example the tank level is at 32 okay 32 inches of the level okay so how to find out this let us observe okay so here if you observe we are having this mapping we are we will be mapping it using this graph right so here we are having an equation that is y is equal to mx plus b okay so this is a linear equation it is very easy to identify what is will be the current right so here if you observe we are having this equation as y is equal to mx plus c or b that is a constant okay so we will be finding out how this level is converted into the current right so actually we need to know the value of m here that is the slope of this line okay so basically it is the it's having minimum level that is lrv is minimum is 15 so minimum level uh, is 15 and the maximum level upper range value is 85 right so for 0 that is okay so minimum level is 
15 and maximum level is 85 so accordingly we will be calculating the value of m okay so here if you observe we are having this uh, maximum uh, minimum as 0 percent and maximum as 100 percent right so actually what we are doing is we will be uh, calculating the value of x from here so if you observe this is 0 percent percent means what per 100 percent uh, per 100 right so actually it is 0 similarly 0 0.25 and then 0 0.5 0 0.75 and this is 1 so 1 is considered as 100 percent in case of x right and 0 0 percent is 0 0.0 and similarly 25 percent is 0 0.25 okay so in this way we have divided this x value as from 0 to 1 right similarly here the physical quantity that is level is is from 15 to 85 so what we'll do is actually we need to calculate the equation we are having this equation of line right so we'll be calculating each and everything here what will be this y is the level okay so basically the physical quantity which we want to measure and x is the value of this graph okay so basically the base of this graph so x value is from 0 to 1 okay so basically 0 to 100 percent of the value and m is the slope of this equation okay so basically slope will be calculating that is y2 minus y1 that is maximum value of y uh, that will be y2 and minimum value will be y1 so that is 85 minus of 15 divided by x2 minus x1 x2 is how much 1 minus of 0 so obviously 1 minus 0 will be 1 and anything divided by 1 will be the same value that's why here 85 minus of 15 is equal to 70 divided by 1 minus 0 will be 1 that is why the value is 70 here okay so basically what is happening y we are getting the value of m as 70 right so y is equal to m that is 70 x plus b now we need to calculate the value of c here okay because c is a offset offset right so basically it is a constant value which will be calculating by putting this x value is equal to 0 so if you are putting this value x equal to 0 we will be getting y as 15 so that's why the value of b will also be equal to 15 for x equal to 0 okay so in this way y value is uh, basically b value is 15 right so what will be the final equation we'll be having is y is equal to 85 minus of 15x plus 15 right so the y value here is y is equal to 70x plus 15 now y is y is what y is the actual level of this tank right so we need to calculate it for 32 right so we'll be coming to this equation again meanwhile we'll be calculating the value of current as well okay so we'll be dividing this current also and we'll be also seeing how will be the equation of line for this current okay so again if you know that uh, we know we know that here current is from 4 to 20 milliampere so 20 minus of 4 is 16 right so 16x plus uh, here y value will be 4 because at 0x we are having the value as 4 okay so the equation here is y is equal to 16x plus 4 so in this way we are having this value as well as this value so actually y here is current value and here y is the physical quantity right now here if you observe the value for x is bo in both the graphs is same okay so it is also from 0 to 1 and this is also from 0 to 1 so only x values are equal and now if you want to the value for y is equal to 32 right so for example our level is 32 then we want the value of this current right so we want the value of current at the uh, level 32 inches right so actually we'll be putting this value here so we'll be getting it is 32 minus of 15 that is 17 and divided by 70 will be getting the value of x here so now this value is same here because x value here also same and here also same we can put this x value in this value in this equation right so here if you put then we will be having this y as the current value okay so what will be the value of uh, current here 16 into 17 divided by 70 right plus of 4 so we will be getting the value of current here which is at 32 inches of level okay so let us uh, understand it using calculator okay so this is our calculator right so here if you are able to observe what we will do is we will be calculating the slope here so the slope will be 85 minus of 15 divided by 1 minus 0 that is 70 so we know we know that the slope is 
70 right now we need to calculate the value at 32 that's my that's why the value will be 32 right so 32 the y value will be 32 which will be subtracted from 15 so what will be the value okay so what will be the value that is 17 right now this value will be divided by 70 right so we'll be getting it as 0 0.242 right now this value this is the x value which we are getting from this equation right uh, this graph right now the same value will be putting it in this x okay this equation right so here x value will be the same now this x value this x value is multiplied by 16 right so we'll be multiplying it by 16 okay so in this way we are getting it as 3.885 right now we'll be adding this value to this 4 okay so what we'll do is i'll just add this value to the 4 okay so in this way we are getting this value as 7.885 okay so this is the current at the 32 level of inches okay so basically if the level of the tank is at 32 according to this scale that is from 15 to 85 inches of uh, maximum range then the current value will be 7.885 now okay so in this way this current is happening right so basically we are getting this current now now this current will go to the plc's analog input card right so we should know that the analog input card will take the current in the form of 4 to 20 milliampere and this will give the current to the uh, now this current will be converted in the form of a digital form because the processor doesn't know how to understand the current that's why it will be converted into some digital value or a machine value okay so that it can understand so in order to do that we have some uh, values right so suppose if the uh, if the analog card is of 16 bit so generally what happens is 2 to the power 16 is 65536 this we already know so for signed values unsigned values will be having it as from 0 to 65535 and similarly for signed will be having it as minus 327682 plus 327679 okay so in this way if the value if the card is of 16 bits then we'll be having this as the range right so this is the value which is going inside the cpu okay uh, it will not consider current right so actually the analog card will convert this current into uh, a machine friendly or we can say the processor friendly language okay and this is what the value will be going inside the cpu okay in this range only okay now this value whatever it is it is and accordingly the cpu will convert it into uh, the physical quantity and it will be displayed on the computer screen right so in case of siemens we have the maximum range suppose this is what the maximum range normally 0 to 65535 in case of siemens we are having in case of positive range we are having the value as 0 to 27648 okay so basically the value 27648 is a digital value which representing the physical quantity okay which is basically representing the physical quantity okay so for 0 that is 4 milliampere it will be 0 and for maximum 20 milliampere it is 27648 right if you are having an analog transistor so this is what we have taken the example right so 4 to 20 milliampere of the current and 15 to 85 inches of our level and 0 to 27648 as the digital value okay so this is how here we are having 4 to 20 milliampere of current and this is 0 to 27648 as a value okay now let us try into the uh, software what will do it in the software let us observe okay so i have taken this picture right if you are able to observe here we are having this norm instruction and then we are you uh, followed by this uh, scale instruction right so we are using both the instructions in the same line okay so in the same network okay here what we are doing actually is we are having this uh, minimum as see here if you are having this uh, this is our minimum value that is corresponding to 4 milliamperes of current and this is corresponding to 20 milliamperes of current so what is the value corresponding to 4 milliampere current is 0, 0.0 that is 0 value and this is corresponding to a maximum value that is 27648 okay so for 20 milliampere it is 27648 now what we'll do is uh, the value coming from the analog card right so it will it will be some value which will be here okay here it will be and now this will be normalized in some value okay so this will be our normalized raw input 
and this will be given to this scale function okay so we actually we need to, to scale it in the range between 15 to 85 right so in order to that do that we'll be giving this normalized value into this scale function right so accordingly it will be converted into the level okay so this will be our scaled output that is the level actual level of the tank okay so this is how we are using this scale function here uh, scaling and norm function in order to do the scaling.